Hi everyone and welcome to Clean Water Minute. I'm Sam Briggs and I'm the St. Barcelona Manager at the Isaac Walton League. And we're here at the League's headquarters in Muddy Branch and we're going to talk about monitoring for temperature today. So a few key things when you're going to monitor your temperature. The first is that you're going to need a special thermometer, not the one you use at home for, to take your kids' temperatures. This one can be submerged in the water and I like it because it has this hard case on it so I can throw it in my monitoring bag and not worry about it breaking. Um, the second tip here is that I like to put a string on my thermometer and that way I can submerge it in the stream and not have to bend down for the full minute while I'm taking the sample here. Um, you can find more info on where we get our equipment and our monitoring instructions at iwla.org SOS. So you're going to submerge your, monitor, or your thermometer in the stream for a full minute. You want to make sure that one, the thermometer is not too close to you, so your body temperature isn't warming up the water that you're sampling. And you want to make sure it's also not resting on the floor of the stream. You don't want to just tie it up and leave it. Um, and that's because we want to take the temperature of the water and not the temperature of the stream bottom here. Uh, water temperature is really important because when the water warms up too much, you lose dissolved oxygen. And that's what our organisms in our stream need to survive. Uh, Chemical reactions also speed up when you are uh, increasing the temperature of your stream, and that can call, cause algae blooms, it can cause, um, you know, excess nutrients in your stream, and that can throw the whole ecosystem out of whack. So the colder, the better for stream water here. Uh, once you're done with your full minute of leaving your thermometer submerged, you're going to want to bend down and read your temperature while it's still submerged in the water. And the reason you want to do that is so that the air temperature is not skewing your results. If it's too hard to read because your water is moving too fast, you can pull it out and read it. Just make sure you read it quickly so you get an accurate representation there. And don't hold the thermometer like this or it's going to start to read your body temperature that way. Um, tune in with us next week to learn more about dissolved oxygen and how to take those samples. And you can find more information at iwla.org slash SOS. Thanks.